Pierre Daniel Hewitt Pierre Daniel Hewitt, French, Latin, Hucius, February 8, 1630, January 26, 1721, was a French churchman and scholar, editor of the Dolphine Classics, founder of the Académie du Physique in Caen, 1662-1672, and Bishop of Soissons from 1685-1689 and afterwards of Avranche. Life He was born in Caen in 1630, and educated at the Jesuit school there. He also received lessons from a Protestant pastor, Samuel Bashar. By the age of 20 he was recognized as one of the most promising scholars of his time. In 1651 he went to Paris, where he formed a friendship with Gabriel Nod, conservator of the Mazarin Library. In the following year Samuel Bashar, being invited by Queen Christina of Sweden to record at Stockholm, took his friend Hewitt with him. This journey, in which he saw Leiden, Amsterdam, and Copenhagen, as well as Stockholm, resulted chiefly in the discovery, in the Swedish Royal Library, of some fragments of Oregon's commentary on St. Matthew, which gave Hewitt the idea of editing and translating Origin into Latin, a task he completed in 1668. He eventually quarreled with Bashar, who accused him of having suppressed a line in Origin in the Eucharistic controversy. While working on Oregon's Greek text, Hewitt wrote a separate treatise on translation history, theory, and practice, that Optimo Hinere Interpretandi, on the best kind of translating, in two books, first published 1660, third and last at Amsterdam, 1683. Hewitt was also the co-founder of the Académie du Physique in Caen, the first provincial academy of science to be granted a royal charter, 1668. Hewitt was the initial patron of the academy, and along with André Grandorge, directed the work of the group, which focused on the empirical study of nature, with a special emphasis on anatomy and dissections. Hewitt's presence was critical to the success of the Academy, which floundered without his continued presence. He acted as head of the group from 1662 to 1667, and again in 1668, when he left Caen again for Paris. He also ended his financial support of the Academy at this time, as it began to receive royal funding and direction from the royal representative in Normandy, Guy Camillart. In Paris he entered into close relations with Jean Chapelain. During the famous dispute of ancients and moderns, Hewitt took the side of the ancients against Charles Perrault and Jean Desmerets. Among his friends at this period were Valentine Conrad and Paul Pellison. His taste for mathematics led him to the study of astronomy. He next turned his attention to anatomy, and, being short-sighted, devoted his inquiries mainly to the question of vision and the formation of the eye. In the course of this study, he made more than 800 dissections. He then learned all that was then to be learned in chemistry, and wrote a Latin poem on salt. All this time he was a frequent visitor to the salons of Mille de Scuderie and the studios of painters, his scientific researches did not interfere with his classical studies, for during this time he was discussing with Bashar the origin of certain metals, and was learning Syriac and Arabic under the Jesuit Adrian Parvaliers. Hewitt was admitted to the Académie Française in 1674. He took holy orders in 1676, and two years later the king made him abbot of Vannes. In 1685 he became bishop of Soissons, but after waiting for installation for four years he took the bishopric of Avranche instead. He exchanged the cares of his bishopric for what he thought would be the easier chair of the Abbey of Fontenay, but there he was vexed with continual lawsuits. At length he retired to the Jesuits' house in the Rue Saint-Antoine at Paris where he died in 1721. His great library and manuscripts, after being bequeathed to the Jesuits, were bought by the king for the royal library. Works He translated the pastorals of Longus, wrote a tale called Diane de Castro, and gave with his Traité de l'Origine des Romans, 1670, his treatise on the origin of romances the first world history of fiction. On being appointed assistant tutor to the Dauphin in 1670, he edited, with the assistance of Anne Lefebvre, afterwards Madame de Sier, and Jacques Benigne Bossuet, the well-known edition of the Dolphine Classics. This series was a comprehensive edition of the Latin classics in about 60 volumes, and each work was accompanied by a Latin commentary, Ordo Verborum, and Verbal Index. The original volumes have each an engraving of Ariane and the Dolphin, and the appropriate inscription in Usum Serenissimi Delphini. In addition to Hewitt's edition and translation of the ancient Greek theologian Origen, Hewitt published two works on the history and process of translation itself, De Optimo Hinere Interpretandi, on the best kind of translating, and De Clarice Interpretibus, on famous translators, third and last at 1683. He issued one of his major works, 
the Demonstratio Evangelica, in 1679. At Alnay he wrote his questions Alituani, Con, 1690, his Censura Philosophiae Cartesianae, Paris, 1689, his Nouveau Memoir pour servir à l'histoire du Cartesianisme, New Memoirs to Serve the History of Cartesianism, 1692, and his discussion with Nicolas Boileau de Pro on the Sublime. In the Huchiana, 1722, of the Abbé Olivet will be found material for arriving at an idea of his prodigious labors, exact memory and wide scholarship. Another posthumous work was his Traité philosophique de la faiblesse de l'esprit humain, original spelling, Traité philosophique de la faiblesse de l'esprit humain, Amsterdam, 1723, which he considered to be his best work. His autobiography, found in his Commentarius de Rebus et de Paris, 1718, has been translated into French and into English. Legacy. The Lycée in Heruville Saint Clair, Calvados, was formerly named after Hewitt, though it has now ceased to be so, 